Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, there's been some significant changes. We're at the end of the month again. I made a bunch of changes to the mechs to get the lances up and running. I sold a whole bunch of stuff um, from our um, mech salvage pieces, like a lot of the the, uh, the very light mech pieces I got rid of. There were some uh, medium mech pieces that were like older chassis that I ditched. Um, so there were some components that I had that I had multiples of that I sold. Um, so we're at 2.3 million. So if whatever happens, something happens really bad in these next couple of missions, which I don't think will happen because there's a we were doing two missions in the next two episodes. First one's a three and a half, second one's th three skulls. So we should be fine. But we're going to do them before the end of the month. Um, just to get some C, bill, uh, C bills flowing again. Uh, I also got the improved automation started. We've got our third mech bay up and running. So the improved automation will get that running at 100%, which is beautiful. Um, so we'll be able to repair three mechs at a time. That's, that's really, that's awesome. And then we're going to look at um, expanding the... Uh, Argo to be able to start working on getting more mechs in a drop lance uh, or or per drop that is so with that being said let's go into the mech bay real quick um, so the lances have changed the mortis is still here mortis mortis is still here um, I think I swapped out some components out of the, or no maybe I don't think I did I think I left everything here I was gonna drop it because I wanted to pull the turret off it um, and the MRM 10s and then I decided against it so I left it uh, so it's still there we do have it as a backup mech uh, there was a couple of comments that you know when I mentioned that maybe we should drop the mortise that people had said there's a couple of 50 ton mechs we should drop first and you know they're right uh, but you know it's I looked at it it's like 30 or sorry 55 or 52 thousand a month or something just to have it sitting in the bay but I mean for the overall cost of what we're paying per month it's really nothing so I decided to leave it in uh, just in case one of our mechs gets hammered hard, we, we'll be able to swap this in and have something to use. So the lances have changed slightly. Uh, I did what I said I was going to do. I rebuilt the avatar to be a replacement for the archer. Uh, so let's have a look at that first. Now, this is not the final iteration of this. This is kind of working with what I had to kind of get it as a replacement for the archer. Things will change as we get better gear, but right now it's better than the archer and I think it's going to work well in this lance. So let's have a look at, we're going to refit and have a look here. So we're an LRM 50 boat as opposed to an LRM 40 with the archer. We basically have almost the same ammo loadout we had before with the exception that we don't, I don't think we have any standard ammo at all. We have uh, all our all uh, incendiary and all Artemis ammo. We've got plenty, so I think we're fine here. The two medium uh, laser diverse optics are in the center torso, so we still do have a pair of medium lasers. Uh, they're not the ERs like we had before, but that's fine. I mean, we weren't using our medium lasers that much at all anyway, so they're there. I moved over the advanced optics from the Archer onto this mech, uh, as well as the support tactics. I took the tracker sensors off one of our other mechs and put it on this one. Uh, we've got a, um, a clan cockpit, which increases our gunnery by one. Uh, and we've got a fire control system clan. Now, I wasn't going to put this in originally. I was going to put the Artemis system in. And then I thought, well, we do have the, like, this is one ton. The Artemis system is two. So putting a fire control computer in and the Artemis fire control system is the same weight. So I went ahead and did that because this gives us a plus two offensive push. This gives us an uh, increase of 4% to our called shot location. It's a plus five cluster missile hit location, whereas the Artemis was a plus nine. But, you know, our pilot's got, I think he's got plus three or plus four. So he's pretty good. Uh, Hopper's pretty good with, uh, with clustering already. So we'll see how that goes. I think it's probably going to be just fine. And then I added a, a battle computer criticals on this guy. It was really all I had left. I didn't have much else. So I added this for now. It'll, it also improves the called shot location modifier by 4%. So we're going to see how this runs. If I can get a better um, uh, computer uh, component here, like a long range or extreme range, you know, bonus. I'll go with that uh, or as opposed to this, but right now I think that's fine. Um, so our tracker sensors give us a bonus at long range and a negative at short range. Hopper never, is never really in short range anyway, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. I thought about putting dead fire um, ammo on this, but Hopper never gets close enough to really have to worry about that. So I'm not really worried. Um, Clan Pharaoh, Clan Endo, double heat sink kit. We got case two on both sides to protect the ammo and the components. Was able to make use of one of the patchwork materials to help out with some armor. 
Uh, I put an exchanger in as well, just because we were running hot before. Now we're running pretty darn cool. Uh, even in warmer environments, we should be okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure we keep our heat levels down. Um, heat, as you know, has become an issue um, in this kind of version of Rogue Tech. I've been noticing with the enemies and us that heat's been a big problem. So I'm trying to keep it not necessarily heat even, but heat negative. Uh, for most of my mechs if I can just so that I don't have to worry too much about it now We do have a ton of exchangers. So this is a great option for a lot of our mechs um, So yeah, that's the avatar and as you know, it's movements actually could quite good. It's got a 280 engine I think our I think the uh, archer had a 250 so we got a little bit more movement than we had before um, But yeah, so that's this guy and the Dervish remained the same, the Black Knight stayed the same, uh, Shadowhawk just stayed the same. The Victor is now, uh, I think I mentioned this, this is, we've already seen this one I think. We've got the Ultra 10 on this side with the three uh, things. We've got the cooling jacket on the upper arm on this side now, which is minus 15% weapon heat generated, plus the weapon mount, which gives us plus two accuracy for, with the large VC, VSPL. So we're going to see how that works out with this guy. Um, and then, uh, let's see here, the archer stayed this, well, it, it changed slightly. Uh, we did pick up light pharaoh. Someone had mentioned to me maybe I should put some clan pharaoh in, which gives us case, uh, clan case. But the problem was I didn't, there's not enough slots to do that. However, there was just enough slots to fit in the light pharaoh, which I went ahead and did. It didn't give us much weight. I think it was like less than a ton or something. It wasn't very much. But I used that to up the armor on this thing slightly. We were, our main torsos were down slightly. Uh, and our back was down slightly, so I was able to raise those com those up a little bit for this mech. And I had to change the loadout on it, uh, although we do have an Artemis on here. We don't have any Artemis ammo installed, unfortunately. Um, not yet, anyway, not till we get some more. But we do have LK, a little bit of LK, some dead fire on this guy so we can get a little closer. Uh, and then just regular ammo and the regular fire control system Artemis for the clustering bonus. So that's pretty much it for this guy. Um, and then uh, this bushwhacker stayed the same. The bushwhacker that we had with the large laser and everything, um, I switched this guy around a bit. So this guy hopefully has a, a lot harder punch. I wasn't really liking how uh, we had the two medium X pulses, the ER large and and the um, ATM9 pirate and the MML5. So I switched this guy up. We've got the heavy MRM30 on this thing now with the, um, the one ton of Inferno and the two ton of... A of Apollo ammo plus the uh, fire control system Artemis for this thing so when these things hit it's gonna give us a really really good clustering bonus um, flat 20% jam chance mit mitigated by gunnery so it's gonna jam not a fair bit but enough um, but you know when it when it's unjammed the actual bonus for hitting for being in the arm the Apollo and the clustering should do a significant amount of damage to the enemy um, we got Pharaoh and Endo Steel in here. Prototype double heatsink kit because this guy was a little hot. Um, so we're at 6149 now. It's not so bad now, uh, but with a regular double heatsink kit in here, I couldn't sink as much heat because we do have two medium X pulses. We got one on the arm, one in the center, and we got a small VSPL in here. Uh, it doesn't quite have the range as the medium pulses, um, and it's a little warmer. It does do 50 damage for two tons. So that's a actually really excellent weapon. So I've dropped it in this. Um, uh, mech as a support for the two medium X pulses, which I'm really I'm loving the medium X pulses for 45 damage and 20 heat at the range of 420 and Having plus one accuracy bonus and ign ignore one evasion pips. I think these are the go-to weapon now um, It's beautiful, right? So we've got a clan cockpit in here for gunnery sniper sensors in here as well case two to protect the ammo and that's pretty much it uh, for the bushwhacker so uh, That is it for the changes. I think I don't think I made any other changes so let's go ahead and take our contract today. Let's go to Command Center. And we're going to take Intercept and Salvage. Now, I don't know what to expect with this one. Um, it's uh, our people look, took a beating in a region engagement, uh, Commander, and we lost an entire lance. One of our pilots was killed when their mech fell over, which is very strange. And the last of the Torian survivors uh, uh, were able to get our mech back on its feet. Now they're hoping to get it safely to their dropship and claim it for their own. We need to stop the salvage attempt and bring down that mech. Uh, it's still an active battlefield down there, so no telling what you'll encounter. So we're going to send the main lance in and see how it goes. Um, so let's negotiate this. I'm going to go full salvage. Um, it's a good payout, but I'm expecting to take some damage on this one uh, simply because of the uh, price tag on it. So we're going to have to see how it goes. 
Once again, we're going against the Torian, so I don't really care. All right, so we flush the archer out, bring the avatar in, let's bring Scramble out, and Hopper. Um, what do we have here? Oh yeah, we've got the Lance from the last time. So we need Arachne, we need uh, Hotshot, and Queen Bee. Am I correct? Or am I just going insane? No, we're correct, right? Yeah, we're correct. And we need to move the Black Knight down. We need to flush this guy out and this guy out. And we'll bring in the Dervish and their Burkert. And let's do this. Alright, here we go. Looking for a single mech out here. Possibly already damaged. Yeah, and I bet you there's two other lances at least. Got heat signature in that area. And that looks like... A Warhammer? Yeah, it looks like a Warhammer to me, but we'll find out soon enough. Which I gotta mention too, um, it was, we do have three parts of a Warhammer. We've got the Warhammer 2C, full a full Warhammer 2C, but we've also got three parts of a Warhammer. So we could get two Warhammers going. Uh, an 80 ton and a 70 ton. Now, He's up there, eh? Trying to figure out what map this is. Oh yeah, this is the uh, convoy interception map. So this is technically going to be an assassinate mission, I would imagine. Now the question is, can't get up on this ridge. I mean, I guess we could head this way and try and get up on this ridge. They're going to see us before we get there anyway. Um, where can we utilize the most amount of cover? Let's stay near the future evac zone just in case. Just in case we need to hit and run. Because I'm not sure what to expect here. Okay, we're just going to walk with the lamb for now. Oh, we got some allies? I didn't notice that. Vulture Mark II. Cool. Too bad if they die, they don't become part of the loot table because we sure as hell need that uh, Vulture II parts. We've got some of those sitting in the base. Copy that. Yeah, shit. Moving out. Copy that. Just when I said to Talendale on the post that I'm doing better at uh, keeping my spacing, but apparently not. Okay, so that's an incoming lance. Well, someone's got some racks. Looks like a rack five. I don't know, he hit you. Or maybe he was shooting for you and didn't hit you. Come on, Vulture, do something. There you go. Oh, it's a Hephaestus. Hephaestus? Whatever. Heavy Rotary 2s. Risks. Tandem Rocket 20s. Pair of ER mediums, ER smalls. So as long as we stay at range, this guy should not be that much of a threat. Yes, Commander. Which we should be able to just like have no problem with. We don't have any direct line of sight on this guy, which is weird because he was able to shoot us. Unless he shot and moved. Like what the hell? Gives us the ability for direct line of sight, and then we move and it doesn't. Um, let's just go here. Good to go. I don't know how heat neutral this guy is. It's actually not a bad chance to hit. We're going to lob some incendiaries in there, though. Do I want to go with this many? Probably. Let's try and warm them up. Firing on target. OK. 
Okay. As long as we can I get some you. fire going around him too, he'll be walking into it. So, yeah. See. On my way. Come on, Hopper. See how you do in this one. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll drop some incendiary on this guy. We got tons of ammo. <laughs> like, the ammo on this thing is ridiculous. So we'll just fire it. Affirmative. Let's keep around. Let's keep that area around him nice and warm. Beautiful. Just make it so that he's got to walk through that shiz. Yes, you got to push. We need you to push. Maximum speed. Speed. You are speed. Yes, Commander. All right, B. Um. It's too bad that you go so late, but whatever. Let's get him behind here. We'll go. Boom. Uh, no, not Phantom Mech. Let's just brace. Huh? Wait, shit, Commander, I'm seeing new contact closing your case. It looks like Lyrian markings. Really, I guess they want uh, they want a piece of that too, huh? Looks like a blackjack... Uh, I don't know. A couple vehicles. Maybe an Irby? I don't know. Hornet or something? Or a uh, Ostrock? Something like that. Oh, that guy looked like he was wobbling there. He's not going to be going very far because, I mean, he is heated up. And those mechs are really slow to begin with anyway, so. How can I help? Let's just move forward, buddy. Let's just move forward and hit this guy. Um, Christ, we could just do this. Face those. Do we want salvage off this guy? I mean, those heavy rack twos would be interesting, but usable? I don't know. Let's just heat them up, though. Aye, aye. Let's just keep them from getting anywhere fast. All right, Arachne. Commander. Full speed this way, please. And I have to remember it's her with the uh, sensor lock because I keep thinking it's Queen B. The symbols are kind of similar. Can't sensor lock him? Oh, he might be too far away. That could be it. Let's just heat him up. Burn! Witch, burn! I beat. Standing by. Um, there's probably more guys around here. I just don't know where they're going to be. This is kind of maximum jump, but let's get in here. Because nobody else is shooting this turn, I don't think. And we're going to go ahead and Vigilance, so hopefully you can go before everybody next turn. Yeah, see, t Sam's still pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can get the Barrage on him, too. He's taking mostly um, torso damage, it looks like. Nothing on the back, just internally a little bit. Taking the top. Okay, t Sam's on. We missed with the Barrage, though. Hopefully, where did it go? Whoops. <laughs> well, at least they didn't target our own guys. Ready for order. All right, hot shot. Oh, you can get some range in this guy, eh? Probably with the tag, though. This thing is so damn slow. Yeah. Well, better than nothing. Target locked. It's yeah, it's a miss. Okay, he's pretty darn warm over there, so he's not moving very far. A little bit unstable, too, so I don't know... If he's going to try and sprint, he'll mostly walk and brace. Fulcrum. That's such a big deal. What are you shooting at? Oh, those guys. Okay. Sure, man. As long as it's not us. Is it just going to be this guy? Oh, what's this? Is that a mech? No, it's a tree. Jesus. Orders. Guess who's blind? Okay, we're only going to walk. No point in sprinting. Get a better chance to hit. 
Let's keep this guy nice and hot. Okay, he's already got a bunch of heat on him, but we'll heat him up again. So there's like, I haven't quite figured out what the math is on the, on the cap for heat, but apparently you become, each turn you take heat damage, you become a bit more immune to heat. So even if you're over, you still don't take the maximum amount of heat. It's a lot less for each turn that you get hit by the same weapon, I think it is. Just so it's harder and harder to continuously keep somebody overheated. I guess it gives them a bit, you know, a little bit fairer chance. Now you can't, can you, you can't target him. Uh, where did that barrage land? There was a, br I thought there was a, they shot a barrage or something. Is it just me? Just me, I think. Moving to position. Now we're just going to keep this guy toasty and uh, immobile. See, I don't, I don't know. The T simp is okay, I guess. But even this guy, that's slow. He's still making some half decent movement speed. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong. She's coming for you. Hit, Commander. I love how there's like a half laugh in there. Do you hear the kind of chuckle? It's brilliant. She's awesome. <laughs> Barely hit, Commander. They tried. And they failed. Roger that. Yeah, see, not a lot. Come on, man. You're in the wrong... You're in the wrong... Uh, I copy. You're in the wrong battlefield. Okay, we managed to kill their infantry on that hill. Uh, you guys couldn't see them, but I knew they were there. They were stealthed. So they're gone now. Because I don't do anything by mistake. Uh, I would never do that. Alright, what are we looking at for targeting here? Not bad. Uh, and he's not, nice and heated, so rather than keeping him heated, Let's see if we can go ahead. I'm gonna OP this guy. I'm gonna try for some leg shots here, see if we can get some shots in on him. He's got AMS too, eh? That's interesting. Yeah, he's got no movement. I swear to God, that guy looks so much like a... Um, from a distance, he looks so much like a, uh, what's it called, um, Warhammer. Maybe it's a Warhammer variant. Maybe I'm, I'm just not, uh... Wait, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Warhammer variant we have. We fought one of these guys already. That's right. What the hell was I thinking? I wasn't. That was probably the... <laughs> that was probably it. All right, buddy. Acknowledged. Let's get up here. I mean, we could just bring this guy down and leave. Just gonna shoot at him. See if we can get anything. Uh, pro. Uh, I'll leave it on. Acknowledged. No. I wonder if we should just bring him down and leave. Because that would be he would be some pretty good salvage. That'll give us one of those warhammers, and then we can just focus on making sea bills. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. Um, you can come down right in. Let's stay in the trees. Little bit of protection. Now if they get the kill on this guy before we do, does that mean anything? I don't know if it does or not. I should really think about that.
should really start thinking about that. Um, what's our chance with Artemis? 42? Let's keep him hot. Aye, aye. Wow, one of the lasers hit. I think we need to engage those other guys. It's a strider. What's he doing here? Interesting mech, but shit pilot. Oh man, that sound is just always sounds like the echoing screams of people dying. Beekeeper. Foot destroyed. Well, he's not moving anywhere anytime fast. Okay, Rackney, let's get up there. I want to engage these other guys. We want to keep them off our uh, our target here. I mean, unless we can pull this guy's leg. If we can pull his leg, then we'll take it. Just don't pull his finger. Um, what do we got here? That's pretty good. I pulled the dead fire off this thing, figures. Um... Should be able to sensor lock him now, right? Beautiful. Sensors locked on. All right, let's finish this up. Let's just finish it up, girl. Let's take care of this problem. Going out to this leg. KB. Awaiting orders. Um, we're gonna phantom mech this because we're not gonna be jumping very far. Uh, so we're gonna jump up. That's into flames. That's not. That's a side shot. Let's get into here. That should be enough stealth. Confirmed. Or enough, uh, what do you call it? Um, evasion. Yeah, not too bad. And then, how much OP do we have left here? We've got 17. Which means we've only got one more offensive push. So we're going to hold off you doing it. And we're just going to fire on this guy's side. Because you can't do, well, you can do actually, what, 50, 55. If we get lucky, well, no, we won't be able to take the leg. Let's just fire. Oh, not knocked over. He's panicking, though. I think if we're able to take the leg. Sweep the leg. Okay, he's running. Not sure why, but he's running. All right, hot shot. Good to go. Let's not use that big cannon on him because that would be bad, I think. Let's get in here. We hit the wrong spot, he's dead. And I want to see if I can get some good stuff off this guy. So let's just go ahead and fire. Engaging. Looked like a leg hit to me. Should knock him down, though. I think I hit some. Come on, bail out, buddy. Bail out. You know you don't want to be there. What was that? Left leg? Looked like it was the left leg. Pilot injury, left leg gone. Beautiful. Don't shoot the right torso. Shoot his leg. Talk to me. Actually, don't shoot his leg. Let me do it. Um, it's not move, but give us the best chance to hit. What do we need? 38. So let's not go... How much do we want to use here? Let's leave these off. Well... Yeah, let's leave these off. That's 40 damage. Let's go with the two tens. And let's pray we cluster that leg. Gonna warlord it just so that we have a little better chance to hit this leg here. 55%, not bad. Firing on the enemy. There we go. The last Beautiful. Is down. Yeah. Let's just go. We're only getting three pieces of salvage, and I don't think that blackjack or anything over there. I mean, there's a couple of uh, looks like pulse lasers or something, but we don't need them. Like, I mean, what are we gonna what are we gonna use them for? That'll make this nice and short, and we can take another mission. Damage minimal. Let's do that. Uh -huh. 
He seems like he's done for the day. Okay, how long is it going to take you to get out? Two turns? Ah, oh, man, I love... I love that extended, uh... Torso, how you can just take pot shots at the enemy. Not that she's going to hit, but whatever. It'll warm him up. Some fire going around him, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Ammo's cheap. I'm surprised. I thought there was going to be a lot more to this. Like, I thought they were going to have a lot more guys. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Taking minimal damage. You bet you are. How can I help? Let me give you some payback. Roger that. Since you can't fire at this guy, I'll go. I'll do it for you. Eh, not the best chance to hit. We'll take it. Firing. Maybe it'll force him to run, or maybe it won't. Hey, B. Let's just get over here. Copy that. Let's get out of here. What's up, boss? Now, if I move there, I can still run out next turn. So let's do this. Take a shot at this guy. I don't know what I can shoot him with. Probably just a yeah, not not the best, but whatever. We'll <laughs> just fire at him. Why not? Dude, you've been hitting anything this match. Well, actually, you hit pretty good with the uh, the X pulses. Follow my lead. Right, let's get out of here, guys. Moving out. Let's get out of here. Yo, we got to get out of here. Get to the chopper. Let's go for some damage on this guy. Why not? I gotta try and squeeze some more ammo in this thing. Don't know how we're gonna do it. It's only 55 tons. Well, Hopper will go be... Wow, well, that guy's running. I was gonna say Hopper's gonna go again before uh, we get to go out of here, but... <laughs> you're gonna chase him, are you? We're leaving you behind, guy. If you wanna chase him, you go right ahead, but... Uh, do ya? You get this guy's back too. Byron. Should have watched your positioning better. All right, let's get out of here. We'll leave the vulture and the beekeeper to handle those guys. Not getting paid for this junk. Let's look at the evasion. Beautiful. So it looks like we're finally starting to reach that point where our offensive pushes are actually a viable use now. Good experience too. Okay, well. Well, we've got two Warhammer pieces. Um, we could take the rotary. Well, I don't have ammo for it. See, that's the thing. It's such a painful thing to see good items like that and then not be able to take them because it's either take that and the ammo. Well, I could take one and the three tons of ammo. How many shots? 50 shots? That's a lot of ammo. Or we could take three pieces of this and assemble one and hopefully we get both. It's a risk, right? And if I take one of these pieces, then I can't assemble this particular 
and face those. The other one is, I think it's got, well, the other one I think is better because it's, I think it's got heavy improved um, large lasers. I don't know. It's such a, and then these heavy rack twos don't do that much damage, do they? 25 per shot, isn't it? 20, 20 damage. It's not a lot for nine times. Well, I mean, it's 120 if everything hits. One recoil per shot, so it's six recoil. <sighs> Clan laser AMS. You know what? Let's just take the Warhammer pieces. I know we've got one in storage. We could assemble this. We'll just choose whichever one's better and assemble that. And hopefully, all because all this stuff comes off this guy, right? Hopefully, this will show up once we reassemble them. All right, let's confirm this. Okay, medium laser, bright blooms, plus 33% range. That's not bad. A little more heat, but the range is nice. Tandem rockets. Um, 20 unguided rockets. How many salvos does it have? Four salvos? One shot. Yeah, let's ditch the one shot items. Emergency cooling system plus one. We'll hang on to that. Endo composite. I've already got one, and I'm not really using it. I don't like reducing the... Um, well, uh, let's hang on to it. XL engine, we need the C-bills. Take it for C-bills. Standard fire control system can go. Heat dissipating armor is really nice. One of those searchlight, what does this do? One sensor detection for 120 meters. Additional sensor information. Fog of war always revealed around this unit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Basic sensors can go. All right, so not too bad. We'll see what we get out of the Warhammer. All right, 21,000, so that's pretty good. It's weird because it said we were being dropped into a combat zone. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that, but that worked out really well. Uh, if we go to the mech bay, just really quick, we're going to take one more mission today, but let's have a quick look in the mech bay uh, storage. So in heavy, yeah, we did have one of the other ones. We got three pieces of one of the other ones, which is, it's the OA, it's still the same. OA and OB, it doesn't really say what the difference is. Well, let's just hang on to them for now. I'm not going to assemble it quite yet. We do have the Warhammer 2C as well that we've got to put together. Um, but let's see how our sea bills go after this next mission. Maybe we'll bring it, well, not before the end of the month, but maybe for next episode we'll bring it forward or the one after or something. But let's see how we do here. Um, let's go to the command center. Get right into this one. Professional courtesy. Ambushing a convoy against the Torian Concordat for the locals. Um, yeah, it's standard. Polar region so we can go all out, which is great. We're going to go full salvage. Hopefully we can pick up some stuff off this. And we're going to go in with uh, um, Bloodlust. We're going to just murder sh shiz. Go with you. Archer second. And then the DC at X3. And then we want to have Scramble. You don't have the best skills for that, Victor, but I can't not give it to you right now. And then Focus and Swifty. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, yep, we know about the Archer. That's pretty far. Oh, we're chasing them. Shoot. We are behind them. They're, go they're going up here. We drop behind them again on this map. That sucks. We're not that fast. We're right over here, Commander, waiting for you. Uh, wait, do we have allies here? I can't tell from way down there, but just, uh, whatever. Let's just go after these guys hard and fast. I hear you. 
At least our uh, bushwhackers are fast. Ah, shoes. Shoes, we're not even going to be able to uh, hit these guys very well. I should probably leave these other mechs for the slow guys. But if we can get a kill on one of them... Um, 80 armor. Damage. This is crazy. 7 times 30, 10 times 30. Let's just go this route. Let's see if we can get some good shots on this PPC carrier. Ah. Alright, got a bit on it. Full speed. Full speed. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go everything. Okay, we've got one hit. That's nice. Panicking. I don't blame you. All right, focus. Same guy, please. Same guy, please. Get that goss on him. See what I mean? Like we're firing from the back and we're hitting the side more than we would hit. Yes, Commander. The, like I don't understand how that is. And I wish I could say that it's a fluke occurrence, but it's not. It seems to be like every battle, you shoot from the back, you hit the side. You shoot from the front, you hit the side. You shoot from the side, you hit the back or the front. It's bizarre. All right, let's go with the LK. Well, yeah, let's go with some listen kill on this guy. Gonna put the handheld up as well, might as well. Yeah, see, we hit both sides. Beautiful. Excellent. Oh. Archer AMS for the win. I gotta work a uh, advanced AMS advanced AMS into our main lance too. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. I'm assuming once we, we retired that dervish, I'll probably pull off the clan LRMs, put it on the avatar, and maybe we'll put in um, the Warhammer 2C and we'll put the advanced AMS on that. See how it goes. I don't know yet. I gotta stay on the road and go as fast as I can. So we're going to go up this way and over this hill. Uh, yep. Fire. Firing everything I've got. Ooh, heavy PPCs. Oh, man. Yeah. Kind of loving that uh, heavy MRM. Affirmative. As soon as we start getting uh, more wep... Wow, look at the chance to hit on this thing. Look at this. VSPL now is the same as the Ultra... X pulse is even like that arm mount made a huge difference. Take this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once we get an arm mount for that MRM 32, it's going to be a huge bonus. Yeah, yeah, pace the AMS. It's all right though. It's all right. Full speed, buddy. Even if you can't shoot them, you need to get full speed. We need to get up there. Double time. Let's go. Oh shit, that's an SRM carrier. How many did we get? Oh, he hit the head. Five of them. That's it, eh? Ready for orders. Let's get that SRM carrier gone, please. Yeah, I wish we had, uh, I wish we had, uh, Artemis right now. Uh, let's go straight up with LK. We gotta try and kill this thing. Look at that. Beautiful. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Yeah, so we need to go to a four skull planet now, I think. We're, we're beyond this stuff. We are beyond this. Let's leave some room. Okay. Full speed it is. 
Got to get Swifty up there too. All right, what are we looking at here? That's Demolisher R, Behemoth. What do we got? 70 with the Gauss Rifle. He's got a Mind Dispenser. Not a big deal. We might be able to pen the side here. 56 damage though. Uh, where's my tab key? What am I doing? I'm hitting shift. What the hell? 85. Oh, heavy rotary fives. <gasps> How much armor does he have? A ton though. Should probably be going after that guy. This guy's got a Gauss Rifle Blackwell, pair of LRM20s. Let's go after this guy because I've got a feeling that th these things could be really bad. Shit. You gotta miss with that, huh? What can I do for you? You know what the job is. You know what the job is. Ugh, 70. Apollo, 85. We're gonna go with the... Well, this does more damage, though. Yeah, we need to kill this thing. Nice. Waiting for orders. All right, Quakey, same guy, please. Can we get a direct line of sight? We cannot, but let's get the uh, let's get the arrow up here, or the AM. Uh, you know what I mean, the AMS. Okay, it is. Let's use up the last LK on this guy. Not enough. I'm out of long range missiles. Yeah, the archer's totally different without the uh, hmm. the Artemis. That's for sure. Crap, we can't even get a. Uh... Nope. Stay on the road. Keep moving forward. Affirmative. Ultra tens jammed. It's fine. Should be on jam now. Hopefully. We gotta crest the hill and go after these guys. How many do we get? Ah, one. Okay. Yeah, those are what I want. That was a bad one, that one. He's all yours. Okay, Behemoth still got the LRMs. Not firing them, though. Commander. Okay, you need to go after these guys. I don't know if there's any guys up ahead. Moving fast. Like, if they got away from us or not. I don't think so. Go after this guy. Nice hit. Should be a kill. Yep. Beautiful. One more for the trash heap. You got that right. I hear ya. Going turbo. I think we got one shot. Yeah, of incendiary left. We'll use it on this guy. Look at this. Close range. This is crazy. All right, good damage. All out of SRMs, Commander. It's all right. You got Apollo left. Nice. I think it, I think one of the racks is jammed. That's why it was so light. Receiving you. Can you get a direct? Well, you can. Beautiful. Let the bushwhackers handle that other vehicle. We're going to go after this demolisher here. Now we've only got standard and dead fire. We're gonna go with standard. Better chance to hit. Firing. He's got his heavily armored side toward us. Miss means we'll hit the front of the back, most likely. There you go. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Reporting. Well. Location confirmed. Wow, stay jammed, eh? This guy's not getting away. Well, our AMS is not making a huge amount of difference, but it's making enough difference. Shot this guy from the front before, let's shoot him from the front again. Yeah, see, I don't know why it does that. Why we hit the sides when we're shooting from the front. It's so weird. Of course, now that I said that, I bet that was all front hits. 
You watch. Yeah, <laughs> totally was. Commander. Totally was. Screw you! Yeah, we can't get up there. Uh, let's just attack from position. A little better chance to hit, but not much. Firing on target. Okay, soften them up a bit. Commander. Now you can full sprint it. Not like they're going to need you up there, but... Getting around the front of them. Standard ammo. Look at this thing. Uh huh. Beautiful. There you go. Let's get that juicy salvage. All right, three hundred and one thousand. We didn't take that much damage. That's good. Now this is supposed to be an ejection. Maybe the crew did bail out. That's why the vehicle was destroyed. That's interesting. That's a good possibility that maybe the crews can bail out now. And the vehicle gets destroyed. There's the heavy rack fives. Now let's see if you got any ammo. So the heavy rack fives are the one that gives us 45 damage or 14 tons. Now that makes more sense because the other rack fives, I think in the last version, I think were 10 tons, weren't they? nine or ten like it was like crazy low weight it wasn't anywhere it wasn't 14 tons this makes more sense for the amount of damage that these things do now uh gonna take two two xl engines too that would be nice see what the ammo situation is like at the bottom here heavy pharaoh oh god goss ammo there we go heavy rack five three 15 shots Um, yeah, I'd be a fool not to do that, I think. I don't think we can have a mech anywhere yet that's going to be able to mount both of these guys. Let alone be able to survive long times with the amount of ammo that they're going to they're gonna suck. But let's grab this for the C-Bills. 300 core is nice too, though. Yeah, I think we're going to go that route. Yeah, large Blankenberg. 40 damage. 50% crit hit with this weapon. Weapon damage varies. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Heavy PPC as well. 45 heat only, though, for 10 tons. 75 damage. Oh. <sighs> Recoil of three. The large VSPL is nine tons. Does damage. It's got a little bit of damage fall off, but I think it's still probably a better weapon than this. Man, I want to take... I mean, I could ditch the XL engine and take one of the heavy PPCs, I think. I'm taking two of these. If, we, if by any chance we end up using one, which we might use on the Zeus, we'll see how it goes. Um... We'll keep one as a backup for now because we don't really have enough ammo to run both of them. Heavy PPC we might be able to use. I don't know. Because we do have another large VSPL sitting in the in our uh, storage. Let's take it and see. We got three million. We're okay for, for now. Let's just take it and see. See what kind of salvage we get here. So we got the Blackwell Goss Rifle which we've already got one. Uh, we'll hang on to it for now. LRM5 we don't need. SRM4 streak we don't need. The Thunderbolts we don't need. Uh, the 140 core we don't need. The 180 core we don't need. We've already got a 240. We've got two of these so we can get rid of that. The 300, beautiful. Fuel cell can go. That's nice. Oh man, we're getting juicy C-bills off this. LRM extended range plus 30% range. I don't think I would use this because of the reduced damage. If anything, I would use the uh, fire control system missile which gives you bonus range for all missiles and a reduced minimum range so let's get rid of that we don't need SRM Inferno we got four of those SRM dead fire we've got three and we're not using the Thunderbolt so let's we we have Thunderbolt fives anyway so let's just drop that so we made a we made a million C bills off that 
that's beautiful. That is like we got. I was doubtful when I saw all vehicles, but we got some awesome stuff out of that mission. All right, fifty thousand in repairs. That's okay. I'll take that. We made we made a ton of money off that. So I'm gonna look for a four skull planet to jump to. I'm not gonna assemble any new mechs. I'm gonna get these ones repaired. I'm gonna go for some more. We got look at this. I wish I could queue up the next thing in the engineering slot, but we're gonna go. We'll, we'll have about three million after that's done. I wonder if we should crank up the power systems next. Habitat pod maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I want to start getting into drop size, but once again, like it's going to be a jump in sea bills. I think we're doing okay though. And once we go to a four skull planet, I think we'll probably be making a fair bit of sea bills anyway. So uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Always love your comments and I read everybody's comments and I, I'll apologize right now. If I've missed your comment, I apologize. Just re-comment on the comment if you want to make sure that I see it. Um, I do try to stay up with the comments, but like I'm not able to always be checking them all the time. Um, so I might miss some, and if I do, I apologize. But I do read everybody's comment, just so you know. All right, and until next time, we'll see you later.